This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 28 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode, I will be showing you how to boot into an older operating system, like for instance, Lion, with your new video card that isn't supported by Lion. Now, in episode 27, I explained to you that if you wanted to boot into an older operating system to, let's say, fix your newer operating system install, for instance, if you're running a Mac Pro 1, 1, 2, 1, and your El Capitan corrupts in some way, there's no other way to fix it other than booting into Lion unless you have an another Mac. Now, to boot into Lion, removing your graphics card is inconvenient. Taking the whole system apart isn't fun. I've done it multiple times to boot into Lion. Well, a few hours ago, I figured out how to bypass the problem. Now, when Lion boots up, it will load up the operating system and almost completely load and it will go into a your computer has had a problem hold in power button to fix it which I'll show you the error the reason why this happens is because Lion is trying to load up the graphics drivers and it's trying to load up the graphics driver for your newest card which Lion doesn't have and because of this the operating system panics and causes the system to crash to bypass this, I figured out that if we force it to only boot into graphics EFI mode, this is like Microsoft's basic display adapters in Windows, that driver. If we force the Mac to boot into EFI mode, it will not load up our new video cards at all. It will only load up the EFI card we have in the system. Now, of course, you have to have an EFI card. You have to have the two GPU set up like I have. Otherwise, this won't work. Or if you have a newer EFI flashed card um, for some reason and you need to boot into the older operating system, you'll have to do this too. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to restart the system and show you what happens when I try to boot into Lion. And then we'll go from there. Now I'm going to start booting into Lion. Now I'm going to cut out most of the boot sequence because it takes a very long time to load now because I'm running it off of a 5400 RPM laptop drive now. So it, it takes a long time to boot now. So I'll be cutting out most of the boot sequence and splicing back in where it crashes. So let's start. And here's the error screen. Now we are going to boot back into El Capitan and it will bring up the error message and I'll show you what it says. So I'll hold in the power button and shut the system off. And then turn it back on. Now we get the error message, and we'll go to the report. And right here we'll read this huge error problem. And if we look down here, we'll see that it says IO graphics family, etc, etc, etc. And then right here it says NVDA-driver1. This is the NVIDIA driver it was trying to load. It caused the system to panic. Now, of course, if we do not have a way to boot back into El Capitan, we can't read this message. And so if you see this crashing, you won't know what's going on unless you've watched my videos. So now we're going to fix this problem. So I'll shut down the system and we'll take it from there. Okay, so what we are going to do now is a trick that Hackintosh users use to boot into the OS when they don't have the supported graphics texts. I've been looking for a long time to see if there was a way to do this also on a Mac, and I basically had given up, but I happened to stumble across this on Mac vid cards last night. They have a uh, frequently asked question, about how to install drivers if you can't boot without the drivers. 
And this solution right here explains how you boot in with EFI mode to install the drivers. Now, this is going to help us boot into our older operating system. And like I said earlier, I just figured this out a few hours ago, how to do it. And I want to especially thank Mac Vidcards for this quick instruction set here. Anyway, so let's start up the system and I'll continue from there. We'll turn the system on. Then we want to go down and hit Command and S and hold that in. Now what's going on here is it has kicked this into what is called single user mode. And from here we can type in commands to force the operating system to do what we want before it boots up. So I'll type in the command and we'll take it from there. Okay, so we will want to enter in this command right here. This command will tell the NVRAM to tell the system not to load the drivers. We'll hit enter and then we will want to type in reboot and hit enter. It will go through all this process right here and then the system will reboot. Now we can attempt to boot into Lion again. And welcome to the Lion desktop. Now that we're on the Lion desktop, you can do whatever you need to do to fix your install. And if we go to our system information real quick, I'll show you that the other card is still actually installed. If we go to graphics and displays, we'll see an NVIDIA chip model. This is the other card. So once we fix our install of, for instance, El Capitan, we can restart the computer again. At this point right now, you can also do the re-enabling of the drivers from here in a terminal window. But I think it's just as easy to do it in El Capitan, which we are going to do. So I'll restart the system and we'll continue from there. Now we are back on the El Capitan desktop. If you've noticed, there is no translucency here because the acceleration is not enabled because the drivers aren't running. This is also why the CUDA has popped up a warning because there's no drivers to support it right now. So we'll close out of CUDA and to re-enable the drivers we will have to open a terminal window and we will type in commands. First we want to type in sudo bash and hit enter. Type in our password and now we have system admin rights. We will type in this command right here and hit enter. And then we'll type reboot once again and hit enter. Now the system will reboot and once we boot back up the driver should in theory work. And we are booted back up. Now we can verify that our card is working, which it is apparent that it is, but we'll verify it anyway. If we go to graphics and displays, here's our card fully working again. And that is how you boot into an older OS with your new video card installed. Anyway, that is the end of episode 28, and thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video. Now if we go to system information, why is iTunes opening?